Who is it that wants happiness? The wanting mind. Yeah, it's a wanting mind. But that's like saying the plumber's wrench wants to saddle up to a pipe. It's not the plumber, it's his wrench. Your mind wants something. That's not your true nature. That's not what you are. That's a tool that you use. True happiness appears before your list. And what's interesting about the discriminating mind is that you can make your list and even if you got rid of all the things you didn't like, your mind would take the things you do like and begin to find aspects of them that you don't like. For instance, you say, I like ice cream. I love ice cream. I'm gonna have ice cream every night. And then you start. One night strawberry, one night vanilla, one night chocolate, one night coffee. We have ice cream tonight? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. One night, uh, you know, cherry, peppermint stick, yeah. What happens after a while? We begin to say, you know, I don't like the peppermint stick so much. I like the coffee much more. And so after a while, we have to then start getting rid of certain flavors of ice cream. And then the next thing happens. Somebody comes along and throws a scoop of chocolate sauce on your ice cream. And you say, oh, the ice cream's not even enough anymore. I need to have it with a topping. In our school we say a good situation is really a bad situation. And a bad situation or a difficult situation is really a good situation. Because in fact, it's in the difficult times that we grow. It's in the difficult times that our inner strength and fortitude and wisdom begin to appear. And uh, uh, so even though we can chase our likes and dislikes, never gonna find fulfillment there. In fact, the real practice of meditation is the practice of complete acceptance. 